All right, friends, uh, we're going to spend some time over the next few days learning how to read a ruler. And being able to read a ruler is really important because where I'm going with this is I, we're going we're gonna to drop something from a really high height. I'm going to put you into different teams, and your thing has to survive the drop. So, um, so the first thing that we need to be able to do, because we're going to be able to, we're going to have to communicate between the teams. So there's going to be a team that's got a parrot that's in charge of the parachute. There's a team that's in charge of locomotion, moving your object around, and there's a team in, I mean, that's in charge of like padding. And the only way you're going to be able to communicate with one another is through measurements. Like, how heavy is your thing? How tall is this drop? Like, how much distance do you have between these points? Like, how big is this parachute? So every single number in science comes from a measurement. And so we're going to spend some time just making sure that we understand how to read a ruler. And reading a ruler is not as simple as you might think. Um, so first part uh, is what is the difference between an English ruler and a metric ruler. Do you guys know the difference between English rulers and metric rulers? What what makes a metric ruler a metric ruler and what makes an English ruler an English ruler? Metric rulers are smaller? What's that? I have in my hand uh, two of them. This, this ruler is both English and it's metric. Do you know which side is the English ruler? The, the, this side? Which side is the metric ruler? How do you know the top side is the English ruler? It's more spaced out. Be what is this measuring on the top? Inches, you right? In inches. And and on the bottom one, it measures in, in centimeters, right? So you've got one that measures in inches and another one that measures in centimeters. Have you ever noticed the difference between the two if you count these? Like, do you, do you ever, have you ever counted on an, on an English ruler on a tape measure? How many are there? You can count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, ah, 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 twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. That's how old I am. Isn't that crazy? On a on an English ruler. They're broken into sixteenths, which is, in my brain, that's a little crazy, right? Because if you had something that's, if you had something that was this long, right here, how long is that? It's, yeah, how many inches is that long? Well, it's not nine because this, is, this isn't even one yet. So it's not even one inch long. So it's, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's eight sixteenths. Do you know what eight sixteenths is? One half. Did you, have you noticed? Did you notice that this is exactly half of an inch? 0 0.5. So this is half of an inch. In English, the English rulers are really difficult to read because if it was this long, oh gosh, that's 2 sixteenths, isn't it? Do you know how to simplify 2 sixteenths? 1 over 8. So it's an eighth of an inch, sixteenth of an inch, five eighths of an inch. These are all words that we use in the English language. But I'm telling you, kids, English rulers are very difficult to read. Take a look at the metric rulers up here. Let's count how many little dots they have in between these. One, two, three, four, 
Five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's ten. This is the primary difference between an English ruler and a metric ruler, is that there's ten instead of sixteen. So in a, a metric ruler is always divided by ten. One tenth, two tenths, three tenths. But then in English is sixteens, thirty seconds, sixty fourths, it's crazy. So we're gonna be talking about specifically the metric system and how to measure something using the metric system. So if you guys have a pencil, go ahead, take out your pencil right now. Maybe somebody has one that you can borrow. Does anyone have a pencil that Zoe can borrow? So you'll see in your notes, you'll see this sheet here, how to read a metric ruler, how to read a metric ruler. I, don't know. I know we're going to teach you. I don't know either, so don't feel bad. It is not, it is not easy. It's not easy. And we're going to learn. So take out a pencil. It looks Dalton. Do you have a pencil? Just wait till let's let everybody get a pencil first. We're working on that. All right. So what the first thing we need to do is when I write a number, like if I give you the number um, 58.27. Do you guys know what decimal place this is? Ten. No. No. It, it's the ones. Do you know what decimal place this is? The tens. Do you know what decimal place this is? The, the tenths. Do you know what decimal place this is? The hundredths. Yeah. So the first thing when we're doing with a metric ruler, we have to know our decimal places. So here's my decimal point right there. The first one to the left is ones. O-N-E-S, ones. And the next one is? Uh, just write it the way I have it, kind of diagonally. Because these numbers, these numbers get a little bit long. These words get a little bit long. Ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, and then if you go on the other side of the decimal point, it starts with tenths. T E N T H S, tenths. And then you have hundreds. Yep, hundredths. And then you've got thousands. T H S. And then ten thousandths. You'll note it you'll notice that they all end with the th thfs. Do you see that? <laughs> it's, so it's it's really important that we know when I give you a number like 458 this is to the hundreds place and this is the ones place. And this is the tens place. Or if I give you the number 0 0.458, this is the tenths, the hundredths, and the thousandths, right? 
So that is step number one in understanding how to read a ruler is do you know the different decimal points? Uh, well, believe it or not, uh, math is the language of science. Hard to believe, but we use the two quite a bit. When we're flying a helicopter on Mars, Eddie, do you think we need a little bit of math? No. Oh, we need a lot of math, buddy. Here's the thing I want you to do next. You see this, this, this uh, box here? Write this down. What place are the numbers printed on the ruler? What place are the numbers printed on the ruler? So in that box, what place are the numbers printed on the ruler? And I'm going to write this, circle the digit. So maybe write that, circle the digit. You'll see what I mean in a second. I'm going to apply these rules to measuring. Now, next question. Are there 10 tick marks between each printed number? Are there 10 tick marks between each printed number? If the answer is yes, if there are 10 tick marks, then you go two places. If there are, round two places to the right of the printed number. If the answer is no, if there's not 10 tick marks, round one place to the right of the printed number. I'm going to put a green box around the word printed just so you can see where that number comes in to play in these here. Let me show you guys some rulers. And these aren't just rulers. These are scales. It's like a container that has water in it. Um, it's, it's, it's anything. There's any, everything that we take numbers on has a scale, has something printed on that object. And here's what I mean. I can. I will. Are you able to read it? Yeah. Well, then, yes. That's not for me. That's for you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. OK. So here's an example. Well, here are rulers. See these rulers? Question. Are there 10 tick marks in between the numbers here? No. 
Why do you say that? Yeah, there's 10. Right? Because I, I just go to the middle. I count to the middle. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, if there's five to the middle, it means there's five at the end. That means 10. Are there 10 tick marks between these numbers? How many are there? There's like, no, there's only four, four right? One, two, three, four. Are there 10 tick marks between these numbers? No. no. Are there 10 tick marks between these numbers? Yes. yes. Are there 10 tick marks between these? No. Are there 10? Yes. So when you look at rulers, the first thing you look at is you look at what numbers are there are printed on the ruler. See, there are numbers printed on the ruler. And that was our question. What place numbers are printed on the ruler? And this, these are tens, right? These are hundreds. These are ones. These are tens. These are hundredths. Good job. And these are tenths. So the first question is, what numbers are printed on your scale? And then the next question is, are there 10 tick marks? And we use those two things to, to, to round off exactly how precise we make a measurement. So here we go. I got a few questions for you. So you guys have, um, let me show you how this works. So here's a ruler. Here's something I'm going to measure. Like this right here. These are 20. So remember how I had all my, my digits right here? So these are tw 20. So I'm going to, what's printed on the ruler are 10. So I'm going to circle that. And since there are 10 things, I'm going to go two beyond it. So this, no, no, don't worry. What, you're, you're just watching me do one, and then we're going to do a bunch with these response devices right now. So this right here, this would be 20. So that's 25, 26, 27. See how it's past 27? So this is 27 point, and then you always estimate the very last one. 27.2, 27.3, 27.1, all acceptable answers in science. But you ha 27 is not negotiable. Like you have to have, it's not 37, it's not 47, it's not 45. So here's my first question to you guys. That response device that you guys picked up before, right? Here's my question. So you have it there, and watch this. It's going to beam you a question. And the question is this. What decimal point is printed on this ruler right here? So you put in, is it, is it A, the hundreds, B, the tens, C, the ones, D? What decimal point is printed on this ruler? How many are these going up by? Ten. They're going up by 10, right? So they're going up by tens. There's a ten, so there's nothing in the middle of it. Well, even if there was things in the middle of it, yeah. right? Even if there was like ten tick marks, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Even if there was, this would still be tens. Okay? Alright. I froze it. Next question. What decimal point? What decimal point is printed on this ruler? Not, not, not at all. This is very difficult. Oh, this is yeah. not easy. <laughs> I'm gonna get to the point where I'm gonna be like, nope, I'm out of this. Hey, well done. These are going up. If you look at the numbers here, you don't ever have to look at down here. These don't mean anything when I ask what decimal point. If I'm just saying what decimal point, then these are going up by one. These are going up one. These are, the, these are the ones place. All right. Next one. See if you learn from it. What decimal point is printed on this ruler? Is it A, hundreds, B, tens, C, ones, D, tenths, or E, hundredths, F, thousandths? This is really for me. Like, I'm, I'm curious what we did. Are we getting this? Yeah, we did better than last time, right? Nice job. We're doing better than last time. What's the answer to this one? Why is it A, Eddie? 
Yeah, if you look at the numbers that are printed, look at the numbers that are printed here. See these? Yeah. Yep, see that number? How much are they going up by? Hundreds. And if you look, these are hundreds. Oh, there's three decimal points. Or look at right here. Three decimal points. We're over here at the hundreds. So that's how you can tell what they are. Let's see if we can get one where we all get it right. What decimal point? What decimal point is printed on this ruler? Well, it's a bad word, Eddie. What's easy to you? Not always easy to everybody. So, oh, oh, okay. I was like, easy. I'm like, whoa, it's not always easy. Like, this is, some people are very confident in this and others are not. You'll, we're trying to build confidence so we can get to the next step. And the next step is, are there 10 tick marks? That sounds like a very tough question. Hmm. We're talking about the budget. Good job. I want to remove this. Remove yourself or remove that. Here we go, guys. What do we get? Do we get them? Oh, nailed it. You nailed it. I, I. I, I'm wondering if that was a fluke. Was that an accident? That was easy. Let's prove it was that an accident? Come on. I don't know. Prove it, I feel like that might have been an accident. If it hits twice in a row, now I think that we're on to something. Come on, guys. You got it. What decimal point is printed on this ruler? moment of truth, isn't it? Oh, boy. Oh, my gosh. Awesome. All right. Last one. If you guys can hit three in a row, I'm pretty sure you've got this. Oh, okay, so don't hit submit. Let me see, because you, you didn't, so your name is still up there, so that means you didn't hit the submit button yet, so you can still change your answer. Let me see. I think, oh, just click a different, just click a different letter. Just, you know what I mean? And it'll overwrite it. Did that work? Yeah, okay, and then you hit submit, and you've got your new answer in. Yes, but when you hit submit, you can't. You're stuck. It's like, oh, that's what it is until we maybe try it again. Oh boy, this one's a hard one. Oh my goodness. It is a hard one. I don't know. How do you know which one's right? Well, some people picked E. Why did you pick D? Because it, what is in the tenths? The three and the two and the one. So these are, these are all, but wait. I'm not saying anybody's right or anybody's wrong. I'm just listening to what Cass, how she thought about it. And then Eddie said, I didn't think about that, but I still got it right. What did you think about, Eddie? I was, I was thinking, like, yep, yep, yep. I didn't tell anybody that they're right. Like, so uh, we're just getting ideas. I'll tell you one of you is right, but I don't know which one. Well, I do know which one. But Zoe, what did you think when you did this problem? Uh, I got it How do you know? I, uh, guys, nobody, nobody knows who's right and who's wrong. You picked what? E. Yeah, I, E could be right. What if E is right? What if E is right? Just because Cass said she picked D. Doesn't mean that Cass. Can I tell you why? Yes, please, tell me why. Okay. Okay, so you're you're doing this like you're looking at this number 
And when you go from this number to this number, that went up by 0.1, right? A tenth. And when you went from this number to this number, that was another tenth, right? Okay, okay. And so, so these are tenths, right? So t what, tell me, and then ten tenths is D, and you, you said you picked E? Yeah. Oh, okay. So, okay. Okay. Well, I tell you what, we've heard from a few people, right? You heard Eddie, you heard Cass, you heard Zoe. What the? Maybe, do any of these people make any sense to you? Put your answer again. Dalton. Yeah, put your answer in again. What do you think the, what do you think the correct answer is? Yes, it, it is. It is tenths. The correct. This is a tricky. This is a tricky, tricky ruler right here, but it's going by tenths. Even though these are down to the one hundredth, it's still going up by tenths. And I like Zoe's idea that you're looking for the difference between the two because that almost tells you the answer right there. Almost. Here's my almost. Let's. Yeah, I'm gonna go on to another type of question now. So. Let me, I forget where I was. We did this one. Yes, okay. All right. Next question. Are there 10 tick marks in between the numbers marked on this ruler? Yes or no? What do you think, Eddie? Are there 10 tick marks? Between those two numbers, yes or no? And if you think yes, then put it on your, on your device. And if you think no, also put it on your device. Yeah. Yeah, I think I will just so I, you guys don't lose it. Ooh boy. I don't know. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes, there is. There is. Okay. Let's go to our next one. Are there ten tick marks between the numbers on this ruler? I hope so. We'll find out when I hit stop. We'll see. Oh, good job. You, you smart, you smart butts, you. Ooh. Let me, let me, let me go to, let's go to, this might be, I don't know. Let's try this one. Are there 10 tick marks in between these numbers? Yeah. Uh-oh. Struggling. Uh-oh. Oh, I don't know. What is it says not responding up there. That always oh. never bodes well. Oh, we're back. Oh, we got him. Oh, man, it, it came out of its funk. I broke it. Good broke job. It. All right. You guys have the two necessary. You're able to answer the two necessary questions to start measuring something. Number one, like. What's printed on the ruler? Oh, the tenths. 
the tenths. And then the next question is, are there 10 tick marks? Because that will tell you how many numbers you're going to put in your answer. Let's, let's maybe try one. And see, I, guys, don't worry if you don't get this. So here's what, I want, here's what I'm asking with this question. It says, what decimal places will this measurement have in it? So first question, what is printed on the ruler? The ones. So, num so you're definitely going to have the ones place. Are there 10 tick marks? No, there's not. So if there's not 10 tick marks, how many places to the right do you go? Only one. Do you see from our very first on your sheet right here? Do you see how you wrote? Did you, if, that if you didn't, if there's not 10 tick marks, the answer is you go one decimal place. So you only go one decimal place. So this, when it, whatever this measurement is, is only going to have a ones and a tenths. I don't even care what numbers are there yet, but that's what's going to be there. And can you guys select both D and E? Can you, can you select, you can only put one? Yeah, so for this question, you would select D and E, right? This is what's going to be here. That's okay. First question, we'll, we'll try another one, see how you do, right? This is a messy process, Zoe. We got to be patient and we'll get through it. But remember, the first time is never always the easiest one. Let's try another one. So you can select more than one answer. So let's try another one. What decimal places will this measurement have? So question number one, what is printed on the ruler? Question number two is, are there 10 tick marks? Because if there's yes, then you go two decimal places. If there's no, then you go one decimal place. Yes. No, we're not. I'm going to pause you. What's printed on our, de our ruler here? The ones, right? So we're going to have a decimal here. Are there 10 tick marks? Mm -hmm. Yes, there are. So you go two to the right. So this question is going to be D, E, and F. OK? That's OK. We're going to take off here tomorrow as we start talking about these because we'll get to putting numbers in here as we go. I will turn those off. If you would put them back in the box for me. Do you have lead paper? Oh, yeah. You can leave those on your desk, and I'll pick them up.